Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can probably tell by the title of this video and what I'm wearing already, this Shein haul is themed around vacay. So I know everyone has their vacations coming up, you have your exciting places that you're going, and I'm here to give you some inspiration, give you some ideas for what you can wear on your upcoming vacays. So if you wanna see what I got, just go ahead and keep watching. So I'm gonna start off with this lovely two-piece set that I have on right now. Yo, it's spicy, okay? I, I think that it's not intended, but I've got a little bit of like under boob action going on here. Love the way it's making the girls look in the front here, but um, that's probably just the size of the girls. You know, they're, they're definitely taking up a lot of space. To be honest, it's a bit much for me, but it's fine. You know, I would be wearing this at the beach, no big deal, right? Like that's just kind of how you'd show up. And it came with this cute little skirt that I am absolutely in love with. So you can kind of tie this however you want. I personally tied it to give it a little bit more coverage in the front. Downsides, this didn't come with bikini bottoms, so it's just simply like a set that you could wear out. This one is a, I came to be by the beach, I came to be by the pool, but I'm not getting in the water, you feel me? And I love this set because you can kind of just wear whatever accessories you want with this. Like you could have a pop of pink in this if you wanted to. I don't have pink slippers, but I, slippers, yo, okay. Sandals. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with my neutrals on this, so a really cute little basket bag, some black sandals, or we could go with an all-white aesthetic with these shoes here. I wanted to show you guys two of the swimsuits that I purchased. I'm not obviously not gonna show you the whole thing, but I wanted to at least show you kind of the top, give you half of an idea of what it looks like on. I really wanted to get some bikinis this year for summer, and I tried on quite a few bikinis, you guys. I tried on a lot of bikinis. But I found that actually most of the one pieces I bought, I ended up liking the most for my body type. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping around. You know, you kind of have to cater to what you like, but at the same time, what actually looks good on your body and what you want to look at, right? It doesn't matter about anyone else. Who cares? It's how you like yourself in it. That is all that matters. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at swimsuits. This one is so so freaking cute so it's got like a high-waisted bottom it has these really cute little straps on the side as well I'm very much so attracted to an abstract design when it comes to clothing and this one just speaks to me in so many different ways I did get this in a medium because <laughs> the girls would not fit in the small so I had to size up the only downside of that is that these straps here are a little bit loose on me they continuously fall down but it's not really a big deal when you're in the water. I feel like it actually gets, the whole thing gets a little bit tighter. You're so cute. This bikini swimsuit one piece <laughs> is also very spicy, okay? It's very spicy. It's got like a little bit of a dip down towards your stomach in the middle. I wouldn't consider myself like a super curvy person but it does accentuate my curves very well and i think with that in mind like if you feel like you have less curves too you probably will feel the same in it like you'll feel more curvy and if you already have curves girl you would look fantastic in this too <laughs> it's very generous with the amount of string that you have here i was able to tie this around quite a few times and I did get this one in a medium as well. I found with Shein, I have to get mediums. And if you want to know my measurements or anything to compare and kind of see where you fall as far as like the sizing goes for Shein, my measurements are always in the description below. I bought this like crazy orange netted cropped sweater thing to go with this bikini. That's just what I pictured it with. And I was like, I'm gonna get like my orange combat boots on. It's gonna be a vibe. And it's kind of extra, right? Like I think I just had an inspirational artistic moment and it didn't make any sense but I wanted to show you guys this I think like with a white bikini it could look really cute you know just as like you're lounging somewhere and you're not getting in the water again this is like a really cute option or I mean you could probably wear this in the water as well I just want to show you guys it because I think it's pretty dope Wow, okay. I love this set. We're gonna kind of jump around between sets and dresses, by the way. The only thing I wasn't super sure about in this set is this second hole here on the skirt. First of all, I was having problems with it. I didn't realize that the whole thing is adjustable and you can kind of ruch it in and tighten it. It was like super loose and it was like bubbling up here and <laughs> it looks super weird. But I was able to fix that and now I'm kind of liking it. Um, I went a little crazy with the strings. So you don't have to do that. I think it looks kind of messy right now. So 
that's something I'll probably try and fix up and figure out later. And the skirt has a second lining underneath it, so it's not see-through or anything, and it stops kind of at like a mini skirt length. So the rest of it is a little bit more sheer towards the bottom, which is really, really cute. I'd say that it's a highlight of the skirt. Can't necessarily say that this hat goes with what I'm wearing. I mean, it does, but I don't know if I'd actually wear it together, but I figured this would be a good time to show you my bucket hat that I bought as well. And this cute little like lemon purse. Oh. There was a little leaf on this purse and I it completely fell off. I don't want to downplay the quality because of that, but the hoop on here is a little bit loose and so is like the zipper piece, so that could happen quite a bit. I love it. Uh, again, maybe a lot of yellow going on here, probably too much. Um, the only thing I really don't like about it is that big branded label on it. It doesn't even say Shein, so it's probably, you know, one of their manufacturers. I, I don't like big branding like that. I like, I would like it to just be like that. I just think it's a bit much, it's a bit much. Okay, so this dress has a lot going on in such like a very simple way, which is really nice. First of all, it's got like this ruching detail here on the side. So if I wanted this to go like all the way up here, I could, or I can squish it back down here and this whole thing is adjustable. So all the way into like the back, it's adjustable. And same with this little cool, loop piece down here you can make this like way bigger of an area if you wanted to or you can kind of scrunch it up and just kind of i try to get it at my hip point to kind of like accentuate this area instead of it kind of looking like a big open space on me it has so much going on it's got this cute little slit on the side and like these ruched points whoo they did a really good job shein 10 out of 10 11 out of 10 honestly blew me out of the water. White heels and a white bag is exactly what I'm thinking about with this one. Look at this freaking cute bag and these shoes. I think I'll do my next Shoe Talk Tuesday on these shoes. So fun fact, if you did not know or you haven't seen any of my YouTube shorts, I have been doing Shoe Talk Tuesdays every Tuesday. So I basically grab a pair of shoes and I just pair it with three outfits and just make it work. So check out my Shoe Talk Tuesday for this week. It's probably going to be these shoes. I've never given orange much love or consideration when it comes to my wardrobe, so I wanted to try out this orange two-piece set, but this one's pretty cute. It's definitely different. I thought I would really love it. It is kind of like the bottoms are really tight. I think I may have to size up and get a medium and reorder this one because I think it's very cute, but because it's so tight down here, it's making this whole area look kind of awkward. And the top. Um, the top is interesting. I honestly wish it came with straps. I also think orange is such a fun color to pair like bright, vibrant colors with and kind of contrast. So I would wear these beauties with this and probably this little rainbow bag from my shop because it kind of just adds like a sophistication with the shoes to the outfit, but then keeps it a little fun and casual as well. This has got to be one of the most perfect, like airy, breezy, beachy dresses that I own. I love the design, love the intricacy of it, and it's not see-through, which is very surprising. And this is like almost a good beach cover-up if you want to be like basically fully covered, except for of course these slits here on the side. And it's it's like casual spice. Like this doesn't seem like it's all that crazy. It does look pretty modest. You know, the neckline's very high. It's a long dress, but these slits just add that spice to it and I love it. It's so cute. Any clothing items I have in this like green color, my default is these netted brown shoes from Shein and this purse from Shein. You just can't go wrong. It has pockets. <gasps> yes. This set is just like the definition of summer to me. This puff the puffy sleeves, the linen, the tie in the front, and the shorts. Ugh. I'm vibing, I'm feeling it. Pink is also a color I don't wear a ton of, or at least not hot pink. So I really wanted to kind of branch out and try those vibrant colors for summer. And the contrast that you can do with vibrant colors is awesome. This is like my absolute all-time favorite purse from Shein. And then these shoes again, I got these shoes from Shein as well. It's a vibe. I don't know what it is about this set that makes me feel like a model on her day off, but... That's the vibes I'm getting from this one. I just think it looks very chic, very casual, but very 
expensive. One thing I don't love about this is that the front has, you know, this really cool like inside out stitch design on the top and the bottom. It didn't do it in the back as well. And I think personally it would have looked, it would have kept up that facade of being a pricey two-piece set if it had it in the back as well. I think like it kind of just makes the back look a little more basic. We were not playing for this haul, okay? I am so shocked at how much I love this one. This was one I was actually like, mm, out of everything in this haul, I think I'm not gonna like this one. First of all, it is a small, which it fits really nicely for a small. I was worried that, you know, the top would be way too thin or something like that, because it usually is. Usually with tube tops like this, I usually can't get a small because they're usually too small. And I usually have to size up and get a medium, so I was actually very happy and very surprised that this one fit the way that it does. It's got like this really incredible stretchiness to it, but it feels like a different material. It's it's not like any of the others. My color choice for this one was a little unexpected for me anyways. I thought that red would look really good with this set and I did not disappoint with that decision. Okay, so as far as tops go, I only have two and then I have these super amazing pants that we will talk about after. But I wanted to start with this top, so I actually bought this in black as well. And it was see-through in black, pretty, pretty visibly see-through. This one I don't feel like is having as much of the same problem. So we'll kind of have to see, I'll probably, like, I really noticed it when I was re-watching the video when I was editing. Um, so I hope that's not the case with this one so far. I don't see that it's terribly see-through or anything like that. It's a little bit thicker, so I'm already feeling a little bit warm, but it's worth it. Even if I'm sweating, I'm gonna be happy that I bought it. So if that tells you anything, <laughs> it's getting to the end of the video and my brain is winding down. So that's about it for this one. This is the top I envisioned with these pants here. This is so just vacation vibes to me too. Some nice platform sandals, good to go, right? But I love like this kind of like hoop design here in the middle and I love anything that's kind of like this bow type top. It's my favorite. It's honestly kind of hard to find sometimes. And I think I got this in a medium. So these pieces down here I think are supposed to be like crisscrossing or something, but um, they're just kind of here. I'm not really sure how they were supposed to work. I honestly feel like even just one would have been okay. I'll just stretch it up. We don't know. <laughs> Okay, lastly, let's talk about these pants, yo, okay? So these are so nice. Um, downsides, they looked like they were made out of a linen material and I was worried, okay, if these are actually linen, they're gonna be see-through. These are actually like a jean material. So the downside is that they're a lot warmer than I thought they would be, but they're not see-through, <laughs> so that's good. Not gonna lie, I thought the buttons that were going down the pants were something that could be adjustable and you could like open these up and make them kind of like split up higher. They're actually just for show, so you can't do that, but there's a lot going on with these that you can just love and appreciate. Bottom has these really cute ties, so you can kind of like tie them tighter and it helps you kind of show off your shoes a little bit better. So I personally would probably wear some heels with this or some platform sandals that have like a lot going on in the front kind of that's something else I would probably wear with them because it also has that split off so you can see your shoes better too so the design of these are super nice I feel like these are a pair of pants that I would purchase from Fashion Nova and be just as impressed with but maybe for a little less money on Shein but yeah these are really cute not see-through I think I already said that I'm hungry and yeah, I think I need to call it a day and go get some food. So these were the last two items I wanted to show you guys today anyways. I really, really hope you enjoyed. This was definitely like a summer vacation themed haul. And personally, I don't know where I'm going this summer. If I have any like trips planned to the beach or anything like that, that's definitely on my radar, but I don't have anything set in stone. So I'd love to hear from you guys. You know, where are you going? Let me live through you and tell me about your trip. I'd love to hear from you guys down below in the comments. And let me know if you like videos like this one where I kind of show you a little bit of styling as well with my items. And if you made it this far, truly thank you so, so much for watching and staying until the end. Definitely give this video a like and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you next time.